And nuclear has a very bad reputation, but people are very often not aware of the new technologies that have been developed and are in the pipeline. Which, of course, most important and available in a very short term is more nuclear reactors. And the United States, Rolls-Royce in UK, Korean companies, Japanese, are building and designing these and they can be rolled out very fast. But nuclear is an incredible source of power, but it also represents risks. And when these risks take place, then everything is completely unusable for the next thousand years. If you look at the actual risks uh, of nuclear, in terms of safety, it's about the same level as wind and solar. So it's one of the safest energy resources that we've had so far. And it's about a thousand times as safe as coal. A lot of coal has been burned because we were afraid of nuclear, even though coal actually is far more dangerous. So our experience with nuclear is based largely on nuclear technologies that were rolled out in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and we are a completely different place now. So we can make a passive security in nuclear reactors. It is really, really safe in the new technologies. And there are but some- But Lars, how long does it take to build a nuclear plant for the transition? That's very long. Yes, that's another misperception that is out there. So for instance, why Denmark has become quite famous for building out a big wind capacity. Yep. And it's, it's often shows as a leading country in the world in green energy transition. The actual reality is that 10% of the Danish energy supply comes from wind and solar. 90% comes from burning oil, gas, coal, and biomass. And if Denmark keeps rolling out wind and solar with the speed they've done the last 20 years, they will have 100% renewable by year 2150. <laughs> it's going so slow. And meanwhile, while Denmark has been doing this, the Emirates have rolled out four times as big nuclear power capacity. And so the Koreans can set up a nuclear power plant in four years. So the stories we have about how long time it takes to roll out nuclear is based on the old technologies, not the new modular ways. So when you use nuclear reactors in a factory and ship them out or, or drive them out to their destination, you can do it really, really quickly. And also made a quite good relationship with some of the companies that design these reactors. Not, I have no commercial or investment relationship, but I just talk with the people. They say, ultimately, we should be able to build a reactor a day in a factory, just like during World War II, when you needed a lot of bombers. And then you converted car factories to build bombers and you were building like, you know, mass producing them at an amazing speed. And you can do this so with new. 